So, we will see belief not in his full manifestation. What shall we say then? Shall we continue in sin that grace may abound? Next verse. I want everybody to shout that first sentence. One, two, go. Say it again. What is God forbid? Impossible. It's impossible for a believer to continue in sin. Just like a man cannot be pregnant, a believer in Christ cannot continue in sin. That's why Paul said, impossible. God forbid, that's the meaning. Then, he says, he says, how shall we, how shall we that are dead to sin? It is a lack of understanding that English sentence. That has made some people to say sin is dead. In his English problem, they are the grammar issue. We, sin is in the world. But the believer is dead to sin. That's why it's impossible. How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer daring? They said the man died. Then they now said he went to Uni Uyo to give a public lecture in the evening. Does it operate like that? A dead man is dead. Say with me, I'm dead to sin. Amen. Can I hear you shout it very loud? Amen. Say it like you know that's exactly what it is. Amen. Say I'm in Christ. I'm not in sin. I'm in Christ. I'm not in sin. In Christ... I am dead to sin. Sin has no dominion over me. I am the righteousness of God in Christ. In Christ, there is no sin. Therefore, there is no sin in me because I am dead. Can I hear a powerful amen? How shall we that are dead to sin live any longer therein? Then look at the next verse. Know ye not that so many of us are we here as we are baptized into jesus christos we are baptized into his death this is not water baptism this is salvation receiving christ is a baptism the day christ entered you the word baptized means immersed you've been immersed into christ so you can say like paul it is no longer i that lives but christ living in you is baptism here you're immersed into christ you are baptized into his death next verse therefore we are buried with him by baptism into his death that like as Christ was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father. That resurrection is our new life. That as he was raised, we also, by that resurrection, we walk in the newness of life. Oh, I, I have news for you, friends. You are not an updated version of Adam. You are a brand new man no record of the past you have never lived before you don't have any history you only have a future and i have news for you church your future is glorious if you stand up and shout that amen it's glorious amen 